Let's imagine this. You've been playing Hype of Skyblock for a few weeks, made your way into dungeon and finally bought some decent armor and a liver dagger. But for some reason, you just don't deal enough damage. This is the full guide on how you can increase your damage in the early to mid game stage of the game. Let's assume you have a relatively clean liver dagger with 3 out of 4 pieces of shadow assassin armor and a zombie knight chestplate. So the basic layout if you are on a budget but still want to deal a lot of damage. Before we get started I just want to mention that combat level is an extremely important part of dealing damage. Combat level 25 will increase your damage by 100%, combat 50 by 200%. I have already made a complete video about combat XP for the early game, you can watch it right here in the corner if you want to. So, a very important part of the game that a lot of new players overlook are Talisman. And I have to admit, after the Atmos removed the reforged system of Talisman, it became a bit more complicated. Now it works like this. All Talisman give so called magical power. The amount of magical power per Talisman depends on the rarity of the Talisman. You can see your complete magical power count by hovering over your accessory bag. However, if we run over there to this NPC, we will see a lot of pre-made upgrade options. If you are super broke, you can use them, but I would recommend that you go to the bazaar and buy 9 luxurious spools. If we now click on learn power from stones and put the luxurious spools in a 3x3 crafting field, we can learn this power. If your budget is a bit higher, you can also use magma urchins instead of luxurious spools. But it doesn't stop there. For every 10 magical power you have, you get one tuning point. We can also use these tuning points to customize our damage. Here, it is important to split your tuning points evenly between crit damage and strength. Pets. Pets play a very important role in the early to mid game. If you are very broke, you can buy a rare or uncommon enderman for just 5000 coins in the auction house. For a little more money, you can also switch to a common griffin. This one gives you additional magic find, which increases the chance to get rare drops from monsters. If you see a few more digits in your purse, you can also save up for an epic tiger or a legendary lion. And a little secret tip, for just 100,000 coins you can buy a spooky cupcake in the auction house. This pet item can be transferred to your pet with one click and will give you an extra 30 strength and 20 speed. Reforges. Weapons and armor pieces can be reforged to increase the stats of a particular item. There are two ways to reforge, either normal with the blacksmith and the hub or with reforge stones and the advanced reforging in the dungeons hub. Let's start with the sword. There are only two realistic options here. Either dragon claw as a reforge stone and then reforge to fabled or wither blood as a reforge stone and then reforge to withered. And there the choice is quite clear, definitely withered. However, if a low budget only allows you to use fabled then you should switch all your tuning points to strength at maxwell. Next up is the armor. As I said before, I assume you have 3 or 4 pieces Shadow Assassin armor with a Zombie Knight chestplate. The Shadow Assassin armor should be reforged to Ancient with a Precursor gear as a reforged stone. For the Zombie Knight chestplate this would be a waste of coins, because sooner or later you will get a better chestplate anyway. So we want to reforge this chestplate to Fierce. For this there is no reforged stone, so you need to re-reforge the armor piece at the blacksmith until you have Fierce. If you are too broke for Ancient, you can also do that with the Shadow Assassin armor. Since all of this can be very expensive, I would highly recommend that you watch this video right here, so you can learn how you can make up to 5 million coins per hour even in the early game. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.